this afternoon while we're marching on the street and blocking it in this way. We're protesting against the Edmonton incinerator, the racist, toxic Edmonton incinerator. The Edmonton incinerator has already been suffocating the local residents for over 50 years. And now, at such a critical time of the climate crisis, the North London Waste Authority wants to expand it into a facility nearly double its size that will emit 700,000 tonnes of carbon dioxide every year and fills our lungs with poisonous air. With over 65% of its residents from ethnic minority backgrounds, it is no coincidence that the incinerator has been situated in Edmonton. Incinerators are three times more likely to be placed in ethnically diverse and deprived areas where people of colour suffer the worst consequences of environmental degradation. Asthma, lung disease and cancer are just the surface of the health issues. Once built, the incinerator cannot be reversed. Soon it will be too late to prevent Edmonton from being locked in years of low recycling weights and poor air quality. Our future is at risk and as responsible residents we must act now. We're also making decisions which will eventually change our lives, not yours. Some are continuing climate change, polluting our air and urging on a mass extinction. We are already approaching a climate catastrophe. The people of Edmonton do not want your filthy incinerator. We want climate action that will secure the future of our planet and of our youth. Stop this Edmonton incinerator now! problems will be solved by carbon capture and air filters. Another lie. The filters don't work and carbon capture isn't even included in the plans because it's not actually available. It's racist and it's a disgrace. You don't have to take this anymore. This incinerator already burns the rubbish of seven whole boroughs here. Shame on the Labour councils yeah. and the North London Waste Authority. Shame on them. Yeah. Although I think it's changing in Harringay. I'm from Harringay and I'm glad that the two Harringay councillors did not vote for it the last time. They only did that because of this movement. But that's not enough. They need to actually join us and campaign against that. Why aren't they here today? As I'm representing the Green Party, I'm now really pleased uh, to be able to be free of party whips. Uh, what it really has allowed me to do is to be able to call when I see injustices going on around. The chair of the North London Waste Authority is an elected councillor named Clyde Lopes. He's pressing ahead with this incinerator, the expansion of it. And you know what? He's a paid director of the company that's running it. That is corruption! Clyde Lopes! Shame on you! This is time for a major spring clean across the seven North London councils. These people need to be voted out of office. They do not work for us if they support the Edmonton incinerator. tax strikers. We're striking against the decision of our councils to use our money to fund ecocide and environmental racism, withholding only a small proportion. So this won't impact on services. We are also going through the legal route. We need to raise six grand next week. East London, that's where the Silver Town Tunnel is being built. It's the same things that's going to happen here, you know. Air pollution, environmental racism. We're organising to stop the tunnel and we are going to do it just like we're going to stop the incinerator. The people united will never be defeated. Woo! Time to stop the burning. A mass movement 
of civil disobedience, of disruption. And we will not stop protesting, and we will not stop marching until we stop that incinerator. What do we want?